After studying this lesson, you are expected to 1. Listen to the information carefully, find who and what are talking about. 2. Tell the similarities and differences of persons, animals, things, and places. 3. Need more time to answer? Pause the video. Then, finish your activities before you continue to the next activity. Pre-test activity Directions Listen as your teacher reads to you a sentence or a selection. Then, identify the similarities and differences of the things compared. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Let's answer the following questions based on the text that you heard. 1. Lita and Nita are best friends. Lita loves pink flowers while Nita loves yellow flowers, which describes how Lita and Nita are different. A. Lita and Nita have the same favorite color. B. Lita loves pink flowers and Nita loves yellow flowers. 2. Mark is good at drawing. His friend Chris is good at painting. They both love nature. Which describes how Mark and Chris are alike. A. Chris is good at painting. B. Mark is good at drawing. C. Mark and Chris both love nature. Three. Cats and dogs are both loving animals. They have four legs, have fur, can jump, can run, and can also be petted. Dogs like bones while cats like fish. How do cats and dogs alike? A. Cats like fish. B. Dogs like bones. C. Cats and dogs have four legs and can also be petted. Listen first, before you answer. Get ready to listen. Yana and Yanni are identical twins. Their faces really look the same. Yana is taller than Yanni. Yana has short hair while Yanni has long hair. They both love to dance and play. They enjoy each other so much. 4. What information tells the similarity of Yana and Yanni? A. Yana is taller than Yanni. B. They both love to dance and play. C. Yana has short hair while Yanni has long hair. 5. What information tells the difference between Yana and Yanni? A. Yana is taller than Yanni. B. They enjoy each other so much. See they both love to dance and play. Now, let's review our past lesson. By answering the looking back activity. Directions Listen as your teacher reads the informational text. Then, Answer the questions correctly. Write your answer on the answer sheet. COVID-19 Coronavirus disease is a pandemic disease. Thousands of people died all over the world. Many people become infected with this virus, but some of them had already recovered. President Rodrigo Duterte already ordered an enhanced community quarantine in some places in our country to protect every Filipino from this virus by prohibiting local and international flights avoidance of mass gatherings closure of malls and suspension of classes and offices both in public and private 
The best way to prevent the spread of this virus is to be well informed. Keep yourself clean and healthy by washing your hands often with soap and water, or use an alcohol-based rub. Wear face masks. Observe social distancing. Stay at home as much as you can, and follow the rules of the government. The World Health Organization and the Department of Health worked closely in checking the updates of this pandemic. One, what is a coronavirus disease? A, it is a skin disease. B, it is a heart disease. C, it is a pandemic disease. Two, where do people must stay during the quarantine period? A, they must stay at home. B, they must stay everywhere. C. They must stay at their workplace. 3. Which of the following is one way of protecting yourself from COVID-19? A. Attend parties. B. Wear a face mask. C. Go out with friends. 4. What was not allowed during the community quarantined? A. The opening of malls. B. The stopping of travel. C. The suspension of classes. 5. Which of the following agencies is not in charge to check the updates of the pandemic? A. Department of Energy, DOE. B. Department of Health, DOH. C. World Health Organization, WHO. Time to check. We are in English three quarter three week six. Our objective is to compare and contrast information heard. Do you love animals? What animals do you have at home? How do they help us? 1. They can help improve self-esteem. 2. They can help reduce the risk of allergies. 3 they can help reduce our negativity. 4. They can help reduce loneliness. 5. They make us feel supported. And 6. They help make us want to stay healthier. So, having a pet improve the quality of our lives. Listen carefully as your teacher reads the story. Get ready to listen. Friendly animals. A dog is a friendly and lovable pet. He likes to play with his friend, turtle. They both live on land but the turtle can also live in water. The dog is big while, the turtle is small. They both have four legs. The dog can move fast, but the turtle moves slow. They have a different body covering. The dog has fur, and the turtle has a hard shell. They have a lot of differences, but they like each other. Now, answer the following. Are turtle and dog both animals? Yes, they are both animals. What makes them similar? Dog and turtle are both animals. Can they both live on land? Yes, both of them can live on land. Do they have the same number of legs? Yes, they both have four legs. 
Do they have the same body coverings? No, the dog has fur and the turtle has a hard shell. Can turtle move as fast as the dog? No, dog moves fast but turtle moves slow. Using our compare and contrast graphic organizer. Let's find out the similarities and differences of the dog and the turtle. What makes them similar? Dog and turtle are both animals. What made them different? They are different because dog can only live on land while the turtle can live in both land and water. When we compare we look for their similarities and differences. In our graphic organizer, compare means the similarities in a likeness of animals, things, places, or persons. When you compare something, you are telling how things, animals, places, and people are similar or alike. When you contrast you look for their differences in their characteristics, like color, size, texture, classification, etc. When you contrast, you are telling how things, animals, places, and people are different from each other. Let's learn more about compare and contrast. This time, let's compare and contrast the banana and the guava. What made them similar or alike? And what made them different from each other? Let's compare now the banana and the guava. Banana and guava are both fruits. They are nutritious. They have seeds. They both grow on trees. We already know their similarities. Now, let's find out their contrasting characteristics. What made them different from each other? Now, let's contrast the banana and the guava. They differ in their color. Banana is yellow while guava is green. They differ in their sizes. Banana is long but the guava is round. They differ in their taste. The banana is sweet, unlike the guava, it is sour. It's module activity time. Get ready with your pen and answer sheet. Activity 1. Direction, encircle the letter of the correct answer. 1. Banana and mango are similar in blank. A. Color. B. Shape. C. Size 2. Bus and Jeep are both blank A. Planes B. Ships C. Transportation 3. Pencil and ball pen differ in blank A. Color B. Form C. Texture 4. Water and vinegar differ in blank a. Color B. Height C. Taste 5. Mother and father are both my blank A. Children B. Cousins C. Parent Now, let's answer activity 2. Direction, write compare if the sentence tells the similarities. And contrast if it tells the differences. 1. Both eagle and parrot can fly. 2. Monkey can climb trees, 
but turtle cannot. 3. A cat has fur just like a dog. 4. A frog and a turtle have the same habitat. 5. A cow eats grasses while a frog eats insects. Get ready with our activity 3. Listen to the story. Let's begin. Henry and Jerry love to play at the park. Henry loves to play in the swing while Jerry likes to go up and down in the slide. Jerry jogs while Henry runs everywhere. Both of them enjoy sharing their food at lunch. Jerry brings adobo, and Henry has a pork barbecue. Jerry loves watching basketball while Henry prefers volleyball. They enjoyed each other's company. Based from the story heard us were the following. Direction, put a check mark if the sentence compares something. And mark X if it contrasts. 1. Henry and Jerry love to play at the park. 2. Jerry brings adobo, and Henry has pork barbecue. 3. Henry and Jerry both love watching ball games. 4. Both eat their lunch at the park. 5. Jerry jogs while Henry runs everywhere. Time to check. Remember, Compare tells the similarities among persons, places, things, animals, and ideas. Words like to, both, also, and similarly, tell comparison. Remember, Contrast tells the differences among person, places, things, animals, and ideas. Words like while, but, and although, show contrast. Remember, a Venn diagram is used to compare and contrast ideas. Let's check your understanding. Direction, listen as your teacher reads to you the dialogue. Get ready. Let's begin. Who do you love better? Jean. My dear Lola Cherry. Who do you love better? Me or Janice? Janice. Oh, please think about it, Lola Cherry. I am polite and hardworking. Jean. But then, Sister Janice, I'm tall and beautiful. Lola Cherry. Well, children, it's hard to tell who I love more. Let me think about it. Janice. But Lola, I help you every day in cleaning the house. Jane, but don't forget, I help Lola every day in arranging the flowers. Lola Cherry, my dear children, stop comparing. I love Denise as much as I love Jane. Because both of you are my precious granddaughters. Answer the following questions. Number 1. In the dialogue, compare Jane and Janice. Write the letter of the correct answer. Letter A. They are both tall and beautiful. Letter B. 
They are both polite and hardworking. Letter C. Lola Charing loves them both. And number two to five, choose from the box the correct phrases that best describe the differences or contrast between Chinese and Jean. Write your answers on the space provided below. Time to check. You are now ready to finish your module. Post-test activity Directions Listen as your teacher reads to you the story Identify the similarities and differences of the persons compared Write the letters of the correct answer in the Venn diagram Get ready to listen Let's begin Ben and Tan are good friends. They are much similar to each other. They are both in grade 3 and fond of reading. Ben likes wearing shirt and Tan likes it too. Ben loves blue while Tan loves red. Ben's favorite food is pancit and that is Tan's favorite too. Ben is a dancer and Tan is a singer. They are both talented. It's time to fill in our Venn diagram. If you are ready, your timer starts now. Congratulations! Good job! That is all for today kids. Bye! Until next time!